the rod balanced on the pivot is neutral. In other words, it has no net positive or negative charge. The second rod is also neutral, and you can see that there's no effect, there's no attraction or repulsion between the two rods. But now we're going to charge the second rod using a piece of silk. The electrons tend to move from the silk onto the rod, giving it a net negative charge. And we're going to see what happens when we bring it close to the neutral rod. And you can see that there seems to be an attractive force. So the rod on the pivot seems to be attracted to the negatively charged rod. Now we've got the same rod on the pivot with no net charge, but we're going to see what happens, how it reacts when we bring a positively charged rod close to it. So we're charging the second rod positively using Teflon. Electrons tend to move from the rod to the Teflon, leaving the rod with a net positive charge. And once again, there seems to be an attractive force between the positively charged rod and the rod on the pivot. So the rod that's balanced on the pivot seems to be attracted to both positive and negative charge.